is media. So, Big Baby Miller just squared off against Daniel Dubois. And Daniel Dubois stops Big Baby Miller with, with about 11 seconds to go. And the 10th round was scheduled for a 10th round fight. Now, coming up to the fight, I f thought Big Baby Miller was going to win. But I also thought he would be in better shape. Normally... He comes in at decent shape, but he weighed in yesterday at, what, 333? And it seemed like from round one, Dubois was just, he was he was catching Big Baby Miller. Now, Big, Gerald Big Baby Miller's strategy appeared to seem like he was going to try to tire him out, Dubois out. And, yeah, he was catching him. But due to Big Baby Miller being under or uh, not in shape, it just started showing as the rounds was going. And you could hear his corner telling him, man, breathe, man. You got to breathe. Take a deep breath. Even the announcers, who appeared to be more on Miller's side, in my opinion, started to even say, uh, he getting kind of tired. And Dubois just kept catching him. Yeah, Miller's a big guy, and he was taking the shots, but you could just tell he was wearing down and wearing down. Coming up until the 10th round, he didn't really want to get up. It, well, I think it was like ninth and 10th rounds. They was trying, His team was trying to, man, come on. You could tell Miller was just gone. His legs was gone. He didn't have nothing left. Even as a commentator said, that 333 pounds out of shape started to turn on you, which... Honestly, there's no really excuse because he does this for a living. If you beat Dubois, you're in shot of getting a, even a WBA regular title. But your name keeps going. So there's really no excuse for that. And I believe his last fight was in March. Now, these are paid fighters. Yeah, we us regular people, we fall in and out of shape. But there's really no excuse for a professional fighter to get that big and when this is your job this is what people liked about Floyd Floyd never really fell off like that but anyway I digress so you go into the 10th round and you can tell that Dubois was standing in the pocket with Big Baby while his team was screaming at him to keep moving around move around move around and Big Baby, while he was fighting back, you could tell he was just, he, he was it. Like, he was on fumes. <laughs> and Dubois rocks him. It's, what, about 30 seconds to go, and he's, just, and he's pounding on him. And with 10 seconds left, the referee stops the fight. Now, one of the commentators, I don't know his name, he kept saying, oh, Big Baby Miller career is over and is over. But... This is his first loss. He has tested positive a couple of times for banned substances. So he just go out to humble himself. Get in shape. And get and get back to it from square one. I don't know. I really thought he was going to at least be in fighting shape. Which is normally around his regular size. I didn't think he was going to be 3-3-33. But man, shout out to Dubois. His, his career still kept a... It's kept afloat now. Uh, he was known for being a quitter, but he dug deep when it came to to Miller. So let me know what y'all think about the fight in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think.